Hi everyone. I'm going to be doing a couple of unboxing videos tonight. The first one is for the Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars Legion ATST. This unit expansion box gives you um, one ATST vehicle, which I believe uh, when you're building lists for Star Wars Legion is counts as a heavy vehicle. These are pretty iconic, really. I mean, you see them in Return of the Jedi, fighting against the Ewoks, fighting against the Rebels, and from that point onwards, they're almost sort of like classic um, Star Wars vehicles. And when I was watching The Mandalorian um, a couple of months back, and I think it's in the first season when um, Mando goes to that swamp planet and is there a Cara Dune, and you kind of see the panic that one ATST brings to that whole village and they how they all band together to fight it off. And I think that really sort of like re elevates the ATST back to where it should be. It's a terrifying thing to have it chasing down after you. It's heavily armoured, it's got heavy guns on it, heavy weapons. Regular infantry don't stand a chance. Um, so I was really excited to get hold of this. I put it on my list for Secret Santa, and I got a quite disappointing message about a week or so before Christmas um, from Secret Santa. And they told me that although they'd ordered it back in the middle of November, it was on back order and it wouldn't be arriving. So, a bit of a panic. Um, I was on the Star Wars Legion UK Facebook group. And I saw someone mentioning um, <clears throat> models that they can't get hold of. And I mentioned that I'm after an ATST. And someone said, well, try Blackgate Games. And so I went on there and lo and behold, um, they had a couple in stock. But not only did they have a couple in stock, it was at reduced price as well. So I think I ended up picking this up for $39.99. Or oh, Santa did. Um, which, of course, meant that within the budget of our secret Santa, I managed to pick something else up as well, which is I'm really happy with. So... I mean, the artwork on the box is lovely. It looks great. Not a clue what planet that's meant to be. I, 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 I think I recognise it from Star Wars Battleground, the video game. On the back, you've got sort of like model showing it. It looks quite, and I have seen some comparisons online, it looks quite um, wide, quite bulky, compared to, I think, the um, Imperial Assault Walker. Of course, the scales for these are very different, so you wouldn't be able to mix and match and you can see here the scale of the ATST to the trooper so it's quite massive um, you get the miniature you get the unit card upgrade cards um, you get tokens and you get a rule sheet for it so I do like that about this game you get everything you need in the box to be able to play it <coughs> you don't have to buy separate books and all that sort of stuff and it looks like it comes with three different weapons so they'll be interesting to see what they've got so I've had this open already, so what I'll do is I'll just pick it up and I'll show you what's in the box. So, I'll have a look first here, you get the get the base. I believe this is bigger than the ATRT base, let me just have a quick look. Oh yeah, definitely bigger than the ATRT base, it's about half the size again. So a very large base, you've got the grooves on there that you get with all the vehicles and you've got the nodules in the front for the range rulers. You get a pack of tokens. In there you've got cards as well, giving you all the sort of like different rules for them. And again, I should caveat here, I've never actually played the game yet, so not too sure how good the rules are or what they involve. In the instructions here, it takes you through what upgrade cards you get, the tokens you get, and it's got instructions on how to build it. And the thing that surprised me more than anything is actually that this top bit here is one solid piece. So if I get that out, this is all already assembled. So you've got the railings on here which look like they've been fitted in. You've got some pipe work on the bottom, pre-fitted. This bit on the side here looks like it's pre-fitted. I mean it's a good level of detail really for a plastic model. I mean it's it has been years since I've assembled a vehicle for a game. Mostly playing Lord of the Rings, you don't get vehicles, you get monsters. I just think it looks awesome. I mean, it definitely looks like it's looks a bit evil, doesn't it, with the shape of the face? Very sinister. 
Uh, it's brilliant. So you've got that that part. The bags here, this looks like the legs. All sorts of bits of legs and God knows what that is. I'm sure I'll find out. Oh, that looks like it's for the actual the head to sit on. So it can pivot, which is great. And from what I understand, actually, is you can... Oh, there's the feet there. You can actually sit, adjust the height on these. Um, so you can either have the legs extended very tall. So, of course, you get a great um, sort of like field of vision. You get a great sort of like um, line of sight as well for shooting at things. But, of course, the higher your model, the more likely it is to be able to be targeted by rocket fire. So you got the trade-off between either making it too tall or making it too short. So I'm probably going to go somewhere in the middle just to get it so it looks reasonable. But not not really too much in here. And for 40 quid, it's not bad. I don't know how that compares to stuff from Games Workshop, 40k, I'm not sure. Your regular sort of like Isengard troll, I think it's about 25 quid nowadays and Arguably, there's less plastic in it than there is in here. So, that's the unboxing for this one. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I am very excited. I will be doing a painting video for it. So, please keep an eye out for that. And I'll let you all know when that's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.